Hello everyone. Before doing this lesson on fractional exponents, make sure that you have gone over prime factorizing of bases. It is in lesson six. Let's join Dumsani as he looks at fractional exponents. Look at 49 to the power one over two. We know from the previous lesson that every number can be written as a product of prime numbers. Can you write 49 as a product of prime numbers? Let's factorize it. 49 can be written as 7 times 7. In this case, it will be all to the power of 1 over 2, which will be the same as 7 to the power 2, all to the power 1 over 2. We know one of our laws from raising a power to another power. This will be the same as 7 to the power 2 times 1 over 2. 2 times 1 over 2 will give us 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. So it means our answer will be equal to 7. What about 27 to the power 2 over 3? We must prime factorize the base. Can you write 27 as a product of its prime factors? Let's see. 27 can be written as 3 times 3 times 3. This will be all to the power of 2 over 3. This will be the same as 3 to the power of 3 all to the power of 2 over 3. Let's use our one of our laws, raising a power to another power. That will be the same as 3 to the power 3 times 2 over 3. 3 into 3 goes once, into 3 it goes once. So therefore, that means we have 3 to the power of 2, which will be equals to 9. Let us have a look at this one. 32 to the power of minus 3 over 5. Just remember the powers of 2. They are 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, etc. Now, what is 32? 32 will be the same as 2 to the power of 5. But in this case, it will be 2 to the power of 5, all to the power of minus 3 over 5. This will be the same as 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by minus 3 over 5. Now we have to be careful of the negative exponent. Remember, we said if we have a negative exponent, what do we do? It will be 1 over the number to a positive exponent. First, let's cancel out. 5 goes into 5 once into 5 once. That will give us 2 to the power minus 3, which will be the same as 1 over 2 to the power 3, and that will be equals to 1 over 8. All these expressions containing fractional exponents can also be written in another way. Look again at 49 to the power 1 over 2. We simplify that to 7. But what about the square root of 49? We said the square root of 49 will also be equal to 7. So we can surely say that the square root of 49 is the same as 49 raised to the power 1 over 2. We call the square root of 49 a third. A third is an expression containing a root sign. We'll read this as the square root of 3. This is read as the cube root of 8. And this is read as the fourth root of 16. How will we write 27 to the power 1 over 3? The denominator becomes the root sign. So in this case, we'll have the cube root of 27. This is how you write it with a root sign. If the exponent is 2 over 3, like in this example, 
The denominator 3 tells you the root sign, but what about the numerator 2? Let me show you. So we can write this as 27 to the power 2 all to the power 1 over 3. Remember we said the denominator there of 3 represent the root sign. So in this case, we'll have the cube root of 27 to the power 2. The 2 there, which is your numerator, is inside your root sign. Now, can you write this power with a root sign? What do we have in the denominator? A 6. So the root sign must be 6. And what happens with the numerator 5? It stays with the base under the root. So we can generalize this as x to the power of m over n is equal to the nth root of x to the power of n. The reverse of this law is also true. If we have the nth root of x to the power of m, we can write this without the root sign as x to the power of m over n. Let's go back to Dumsani as he goes into more complex questions. Let's try and simplify this expression. The sixth root of 64. There are two ways to simplify this. First, we are going to write it as a power with fractional exponent. Do you remember the meaning of the little six? Yes, it is the denominator of the fractional exponent. It is always easier to write a root as a fractional exponent. So we write 6 root of 64 as 64 to the power 1 over 6. Simplify 64. 64 will be the same as 2 to the power 6 all to the power 1 over 6. The 6 and the 6 there can cancel out because 6 into 6 is 1 and into 6 is 1. So we'll have 2 to the power of 1, which is the same as 2. Right, the second method will be simplifying the 64 first inside the root sign. So it means we'll have the 6 root of 2 to the power of 6. That will give us 2 to the power 6 multiplied by 1 over 6. This will give us 2 to the power of 6 over 6. And we know 6 over 6 is equals to 1. So it means our answer will be the same as 2 to the power of 1, which is the same as 2. Now, let's try one with negative exponents. Can you simplify this one? We're given the fourth root of a to the power minus eight. This will be equals to a to the power minus eight, all to the power of one over four. This will be the same as a to the power minus eight multiplied by one over four. We know that four can go into four once and into 8 it goes twice. Now we have negative 2 times 1 which will give us a to the power minus 2. This can be written as a positive exponent. This will be the same as 1 over a to the power of 2. Now try this one with the root sign. Be careful, because the square root is like a bracket around the, the two terms, 9 and 4. You must first add the 9 and the 4. This will give us 9 plus 4 will be equal to 13. That means we have to find the square root of 13. But 13 doesn't have a square root because it's not a perfect square. So this will be our answer. Now for the last one. Can you simplify the fourth root of 81 to a power minus 1? Let's try it. This can be written as 
a to 1 to the power minus 1 all to the power of 1 over 4. Let's multiply minus 1 times 1 over 4. That will give us a to 1 all to the power minus 1 over 4. Now, a to 1 can be written as 3 to the power of 4. That means we multiply that by minus 1 over 4. That will give us 4 into 4, it's 1, and 4 into 4, it's 1. So we've got 1 times minus 1 divided by 1, which still gives you 1. So in this case, it will give us negative 1. So we'll have 3 to the power minus 1, which will be equal to 1 over 3. Now that we've seen Dumsani do it, let's see if we can apply what we've learned so far to this question. Write the fractional exponent in third form. A to the power of 3 over 2. This is straight application of the law. A to the power of 3 over 2 in third form is the square root of A cubed. Remember, we don't normally show the 2 when we write the square root. So the denominator of the exponent becomes the number in the tail of the root, and the numerator of the exponent goes inside the root sign with the base A. In this lesson, we learned how to write fractional exponents in third form, and how to change thirds to exponential form. Thank you for joining us, Grade 10s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Exponents Tasks video. You'll also be able to learn more about exponents on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn.